Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cooks. Subscribers appreciate you, new viewers, you guys gotta subscribe so you can get some awesome recipes like this one right here. We're tuning into the full fall deal, right? So we're hitting the slow cooker and we're gonna take a chili, but we're gonna remix it and call it a harvest chili. So, jumping right in, I've already done a lot of the prep work uh, and the reason I did that is because it's pretty straightforward. I've got one red onion, you can see that that's rough chop. I've got two yellow squash, they've been quartered and sliced. Uh, and then I've got uh, four summer sausage links. Use whatever you like. I did mine halves and slice. And then two uh, bell peppers, one red, one green, and they're just giving a rough chop. Uh, there's two tablespoons of minced garlic on top, and that's all of the, that is in there. Now to turn this into a chili, I'm using diced chilies with jalapenos, and these are uh, 14 and a half ounce And I'm gonna go with two of those, so 29. In addition to that, we got a little bit of corn. I'm gonna go about half the can in. Yeah, actually, we'll go the whole can. And then I have some navy beans and some black beans. These are both uh, 15 and a quarter. Um, but you have to strain those because you don't want that syrup. So, there you go. Just like the uh, chili that I did in the slow cooker that was a, just a basic chili, I'm going with a half a cup of Frank's Red. That's Frank's Red hot sauce. Yes, I am a fan. One and a half teaspoons of cumin. One half teaspoon, in this case I'm using sea salt, but you can use whatever salt you like. Uh, I tend to like to stick with one that's a little more coarse. Um, then we've got red cayenne, uh, pepper, chili, chipotle pepper, and white pepper. Remember that also my family is not really big on spices, so if you like spicy stuff, please feel free to mix it up. Now, we gotta get some liquid in there so that we don't just burn the stuff when we cook it. I'm using vegetable stock. You could also use chicken stock. Uh, if you're using a beef sausage, you could use that uh, beef stock. We need to get this thing full. So I've got two things of vegetable stock. These are, um, I want to say 32 ounces, but I'll double check that. Yeah, that looks good enough. That's about, uh, I'd say I used half of that. So, you know, another 16 there plus the 32. So 48 ounces total. I'm just going to uh, get this down and even. We're going to cook this on low for a minimum of eight hours. Just like the chili recipe, you are free to do this overnight. Remember that chilies absorb the flavor as they slow cook. So 24 hours, I don't know that I'd go much past that if you did, but we'll see you in eight. It's been about eight hours uh, and it's switched over to warm. You can see that I've got a nice red color, typical of a chili. Uh, so let's scoop some out. See, everything looks like it's cooked down nicely. Now, if you wanted this thicker, you could certainly uh, substitute tomato sauce or tomato juice for the chicken stock or mix and match. But I'm going to leave that uh, about that much. And that's all there is to it. You can certainly top this with some cheese or uh, anything else that you want. But it's a nice, hearty uh, chili. I just wanted to mention that we use yellow squash, but you can certainly substitute or include zucchini, um, any of the other squashes and so forth that are harvest vegetables for this time of year, which is fall. Um, otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, like. Comments down below. Ring the bell when you subscribe to get the alerts. And check back for the next video. Take care. Peace.